Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Programming with Bray. In this video, we are going to solve some basic level problems, right? Let's get started. First of all, you want to know about some number manipulation techniques. See here, in first question, we want to extract the digits from the number, right? We want to extract the digits from the number. For example, for example, take 1345. Fine, I can write 1345 four times. Just a minute. Fine. Now, now, in my first case, I want to extract this 5. In my second case, I want to extract this 4. In my third case, I want to extract this 3. In fourth case, I want to extract this 1. So, how to extract these elements? I can say, I can say, to extract this 5, I can put modulo 10, modulo 10, which is equal to 5. Fine. So, to extract, to extract the last element, the last element or last digit, I can say, I want to do modulo 10, I want to do modulo 10, right, right. So, for this, for this second scenario, how can I do, how can I extract the last digit? It is so simple, modulo 10, but, but I want to extract the second last digit. So, I want to do divided by 10, so that I will get 3, 4, 5. Now, do modulo 10, so I can get 4. Fine, fine. Now, for this, I will divide by 100, then I will get 13 as my output. Then mod 10, which is equal to 3. I have extracted successfully. Now, again, divided by 1000, which is equal to 1. We can get the answer as 1. Still, still, by taking modulo 10, I will get the same answer. Right, right. We can stop here. Also, we can do this. Both are same. Right. So, this, this is the extraction of all digits. Let us see the code. See here. Print n mod 10. Print n divided by 10 and then mod 10. Print n divided by 100 and mod 10. Print n divided by 1000 mod 10 and, and also we can do this like n divided by 1000 also because we know only there are 3 digits. Right? Now, see here. 5, 4, 3, 1, 1. Again 1. Again 1. Right? Right? Okay. Okay. Let us, let us take another scenario. Just another case. Like 1, 3, 4, 5 divided by 10,000. Divided by 10,000 which is equal to 0 right 0 right right so this is this is the end point this is the end point after this after this if if we do again and again again and again by dividing some 10 power something we only get 0 right so let us analyze this this is what we have divided by 1 and we have uh, taken the mod for 10 we can assume like that right I can say, I can say, just, just see here, I can say, 134, sorry, 1345, divided by 1, and then mod 10, it is also, it is also same as 1345, mod 10, right, this both are same, right, this both are same, so I can, I can write here, like, I am dividing by 10 power 0, 10 power 0, here I am dividing by 10 power 1, here I am dividing by 10 power 2, here I am dividing by 10 power 3, here I am dividing by 10 power 4 and we get the output as 0. So, after this, whenever we do such as uh, 10 power 5, 2, etc. So on, we only get the answer as 0. This is my observation. This is my observation. Right? Right? Now, now, just assume, just assume, without, without using, without using this method, like, we don't know how much digits it, uh, a number contains, right? So, without knowing the length of the length of the number how can we approach this problem how can we approach this problem so let us let us take the same scenario this this scenario and and we can come up with the approach first of all i am i am doing a mod 10 operation for each and every steps i have mod 10 here i have mod 10 here i have mod 10 here mod 10 and here also i i, I have done mod 10 but but still here i got a zero so, 0 is an end point, right? So, 0 is an end point. So, until our number becomes 0, we want to do some stuff, right? So, until our number becomes 0. Just see here. Until, let us take n as our number. Number becomes 0. Becomes 0. We want to do. We want to do some, do some stuff, right? Now, what are the things we want to do here? We want to take modulo 10. Modulo 10. This is my first step. This is my first step. And then second step, second step, while taking modulo 10, we will get the last digit. We will extract the last digit. 
and then also and then also we want to divide by 10 consistency that is at first it will be 3 4 5 while taking marlow 10 while taking marlow 10 answer will be 5 answer will be 5 now again i i i will do a divide by 10 so that i will get 3 4 5 3 4 5 and then take this 3 4 5 sorry sorry 1 3 4 and then take this 1 3 4 again divide by 10 that is marlow 10 which is equal to 4 which is equal to 4 i have extracting extracting one by one then again 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 do this do this which is equal to 13 again take this 13 and marlow by 10 which is equal to 3 right again take this 13 divided by 10 which is equal to 1 again take this 1 marlow 10 which is equal to 1 again again when we are doing 1 divided by 10 which is equal to 0 so stop here stop here so i have extracted my all values successfully see here this is my first value this is my second value this is my third value and this is my fourth value right right so this, this is the this is the approach see here let me show the code it will be more clear 1 3 4 5 while n is greater than 0 i will do i will do n mod 10 so that i will extract extract the last digit and then i just printing it i just printing it then doing consistently a divided by 10 operation so that i have i have decrease n by n by 10 right so this is a simple approach see here what's the output 5 4 3 1 fine fine now let us see how to find how to find a length of some number length of some number so it is easy right it is easy here we have printed here we have printed instead of printing it i can just put a variable which incremental one by one one by one see here this 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 is one iteration this is one iteration this is one iteration this is one iteration right right and then this is one iteration so totally how many iteration i have done one two three four so i can say i can say in total my length is four my length is four so i can say how many times how many times we are consistently dividing by 10 how many times we are consistently dividing by 10 some number i can say that's much time that many time that many time my length will be there right right my length is equal to what the number of times number of times loops execute loop execute i can say like this i can say like this so so see here i just initialize count is equal to 0 inside is inside that iteration i will put count plus equal to 1 right see here in input in input i have given 1345 1345 now in output i got an answer of 4 because because here i have consistently done a division by 10 for 4 times and then the number will become 0 that's why that's why we got a answer as 4 fine now we can go to the application problem see here it's a duck number so what is a duck number a number that contains zero in any position zero in any position it is called as a duck number so how to find a number is a duck number or not till now we have seen about how to extract a digit from a from a number right right so i can say first i want to do a extraction of digit then if any digit is equal to zero then i can say it is a duck number it is a duck number right so see here i have given some number here then flag is equal to zero i will tell you why we have used the flag variable right while n rem is equal to n mod 10 so remainder is equal to n mod 10 so last digit is extracted if if that last digit is equal to equal to zero then i want to make the flag as one then break i want to just know that i got zero i got zero as a digit right so that's why i have used flag variable initially the flag variable is zero now the flag variable is one so that i can i can i can i can know that a zero is occurred in that number right so that's why i have used this flag variable now constantly i will do n is equal to n divided by 10 why because 
because we are extracting each and every digit and we know we know how to extract the last digit so we are consistently dividing by 10 so that each and every element will be will be come into a last element in each and every iteration right so if flag is equal to equal to 1 i can say it is a duck number else i can say it is not a duck number let me explain here see here let us take some example 1 4 0 2 3 4 right right now i want to find whether this number is a duck number or not fine initially initially i will do a mod 10 operation what is my value it will be 4 it will be 4 whether whether this 4 is equal to equal to 0 no 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 right then again again i will do a divided by 10 operation divided by 10 operation what is my output 1 4 0 2 3 right now again again do modulo 10 my answer will be 3 whether whether 3 is equal to equal to 0 no right no now again again take this and i will divide by 10 now what is my answer 1 4 0 2 now again again take modulo operation by 10 what is my answer it will be 2 whether 2 is equal to equal to 0 no no again again take this divided by 10 so 1 4 0 modulo 10 which is equal to 0 0 so which is equal to equal to 0 which is equal to equal to 0 so make the flag value as 1 make the flag value as 1 and then break break come come uh, terminate from the loop and come come to the end of the loop end of the loop right so see here now my control flow will be here in this if if flag is equal to equal to 1 i can say it is a duck number it is a duck number right right so this is a this is a simple approach if you are uh, implementing this duck number in c plus plus c or java in any language you should use this flag variable concept in python we can also do this in a different way like see here i just take this flag value and also take this flag variable now now instead of instead of checking whether whether the flag is equal to equal to 1 i can say i can say here if if and a digit is equal to equal to 0 then definitely it will it is a duck number right so i can say print duck number duck number right then then in my python tutorial in my playlist i have already taught you that we can also use else in the loop part in a loop part so i can i will use a else here then print not a duck number not a duck number when will this else part will get executed when when this this break part didn't execute then the else part will execute right right when the loop is completely run it's completely run without a termination like a break the else part will get executed so when this break is not executed this else part will be executed right we can also use this this kind of method also let me run this see here same output a duck number thank you